okay this is a guide to getting the um this armor that i have dragon scale and also dragon plate and also getting a daedric sword the first thing that you're going to need oops is to have leveled up your uh, smithing skill to 100 because only then will you be able to create dragon armor. Uh, if you just want to go for Daedric, you can stop at 90, but Daedric is only heavy armor. And the reason that you probably want Daedric is because Daedric swords are better than glass swords. Or any glass swords are wor uh, glass weapons are worse than Daedric weapons. I have a guide to fast leveling uh, smoothing on my channel, and if you want to, <laughs> if you want to have it easier, there's a link to my website in the description with a post where I talk about how to fast level smoothing, and also there's a link on that to the video. So, okay, so next step would be to make the Daedric weapon. So you need Daedra hearts to make Daedric stuff and that's why I think that Daedric weaponry isn't ideal anyway but there's actually a very easy way of finding one Daedra heart. I'll just quickly show you where I'm at. I'm in Jorvaska which is in in Whiterun. It's kind of south of Dragon's Reach. Um, just a sec I'll show you where Dragon's Reach is at. That's Dragon's Reach, just come down there and into here. And this is also where the companions have their base. I've already taken the Daedra Heart here, but I'll just show you where you'll find it. I will also, in a minute, show you where good locations are for getting more Daedra Hearts, but if you just want one, this is most likely the easiest. It will be on this plate, you will find the Daedra Heart. Okay, now I will show you a location where you can easily get a lot of Daedra Hearts. Okay, so before you can actually go to the location of the Daedra, Daedra Hearts, you will have to do Silas's quests. I'm not sure how long they take, but it shouldn't take long. There's This is a couple of um, quests. And then you can go to yeah, the Shrine of Mera's Dagon. Uh, just kind of south uh, west of Dawnstar, and then there will you will have the option to do um, to do a quest here to go inside, and there's some creatures in there that have Daedra Daedra hearts on them. So yeah, that's the best way to get Daedra hearts. Okay, and then the next step is to do the to make the dragon scale armor. All you need really is some dragon some dragon what is it dragon scales it's actually quite a few that you need so that needs four that needs two that needs another two so it's about what about eight nine ten <laughs> my maths is not ten um, dragon scales so you need to kill four dragons in the description there's a link to to my website where I have a list of shout locations where there's only dragons to kill or where there's a dragon at the end to kill and there should be enough of them that that you can kill four dragons and also you know from the main quest there's a dragon in white front and you you run into more dragons in the main quest if you just keep doing that the iron ingot and the leather and the leather strips you can always buy from the smith that is usually around. Okay, I think for a Daedra sword you actually need. Uh, no, I think that's okay. Daedra. Um, if you go. Sword, sword. There you go, you need some ebony ingots. I will show you. Usually they don't have. Um, the smiths, they don't have uh, ebony ingots. Um, but I will show you where you can get ebony ore. All of this stuff is <laughs> stuff that I dropped previously when I was o very over encumbered. Um, actually, at the time I was making myself this armor. So yeah. 
I'll be back with the location of the ebony mine, ebony, ebony whatever mine, and show you where that's at, and then also how to smelt them into ebony ingots. Okay, now for the ebony ingots. Gloombound mine is, you have to go through Nazilbor to get there. You have to um, just cross this bridge here. And I'm not sure if you're welcome here, but I will go inside and find out. Anyway, so this is where you can find ebony ingots. Um, let's see. I don't have a... Oh, that's fine. That's, uh, so you have to have a pickaxe to get uh, ebony ore. Okay, if I just get two, that will be plenty. Because I'm not actually making... Okay, so after you've. I don't think you're allowed to be mining in here, are you? Mm, I'm not sure, maybe. But it, it's fine anyway. And then all you have to do is find a smelter and then smelt it down into. Um, it should be a smelter here. Uh, here we go. Smelter. Ebony ingot. Yes. And you need. Two, yeah, you need two ebony ore to make one ingot. Yeah, see. That's okay. And then just go to. I like to go to the smith in Riverwood because he has a armor improvement table as well as, you know. Being a smith, because and I don't know, some other ones don't, and everyone has. Help. Um, everyone has discovered this location. So yeah, now. Anyway, now you could make a Daedric sword. So remember, links in the description. There's also I've also outlined all of this in the description. Thief. Don't do that. Uh, yeah. So, oops. I want that ruby. So there you go. I've seen a few requests for this across uh, my videos. So yeah, I hope you. Uh, this video helps you.